Hey everybody, Todd with High Scale Reptiles. I want to talk a little bit about this snake that we found actually when we were out with some friends, Adrian and Laura Berg of Crossbone Corns. They uh, invited us out to Houston for the Repticon show. We stayed with them, we did a little bit of road cruising, and we came across this girl right here. And she is a water moccasin or a cottonmouth. And I just want to show you some traits that she has. A lot of water snakes get confused with these snakes right here. And the reason that they get confused with them is because of the dark colorings and because Nerodia, which is a lot of the water snakes that are in Texas here, they will actually flatten their heads out into that triangular shape, which is why this triangular shape, to go by a triangular head, is not foolproof to figure out what's venomous and what's non-venomous. There are a lot of species out there that will actually flatten their heads out and give it that triangular look. But this girl right here, if you can see, she's beating her tail and trying to rattle it like a rattlesnake would. If I stand up or get a little close, she'll show me the white inside her mouth. You can come around me on this side. Just come around this way right here. They get a bad reputation for being really aggressive, but they're not really aggressive. When you come across a water moccasin in the wild, they just want to get out of your way. They want to get back to what they were doing. They don't want to be bothered. This girl right now is just showing me her defensive posture. She's showing me those fangs, she's showing me that white mouth, like, ooh, here I am. Leave me alone, don't mess with me, or it's not gonna be a good thing. This is a venomous reptile, so it will do some damage if she did get a hold of you. But all in all, they are not an aggressive snake. There's no aggression right here. She's just doing what she's supposed to do to try to show me that she's there, to make sure that I notice her. That is a Texas water moccasin. Very All right, now this one right here is also a water moccasin or cottonmouth, but this is actually a subadult. It's a little bit on the smaller side. It still has a lot of its coloring and a lot of its pattern. And this snake is actually kind of wily. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to sit still here for a second so y'all can get a good look at him or a decent look at him. Oh, come on. I don't have my tongs. I only have my hook. I put the dot back on. All right, here we go right here. Nope. Let's see if we can get him to sit still. Come on. This guy just wants to get away. And see, and that's that's the thing about water moccasins. They're not aggressive. They just want to get away. They don't want to hang out. They don't want to spend time with us. They just want to get back to doing what they were doing, which is hunting and looking for food. But you can definitely see that even though this is a close relative to the copperhead, there is a difference in pattern. Although when they're juveniles, they can actually be confused quite a bit. And I'm about to show you that right now. All right, now this little guy is actually a juvenile cottonmouth or water mo moccasin, just like the other two that you just saw. But the difference with this one is because it's so small, it actually has a lot of its pattern still, and it doesn't have all of that black. But you could still see the markings on the side of the face pretty good. And there is a big difference between these and the copperheads. Some similarities, but also a lot of differences. They're usually much darker. Their bands are darker. There's a lot more browns and tans in them. Whereas with the copperheads, of course, you have that copper. You also have some darker bellies on them for the most part. And if I can show you, this little guy actually has a bright yellow tip on his tail. And that yellow tip is actually used for hunting. What he'll do is he'll actually hide in some leaf litter or something, and he'll stick that tail up and he'll wiggle it around so that it looks like a worm almost, and it attracts rodents. And when the rodents actually come over to get what they think is gonna be an easy meal, they wind up being on the menu. But this right here is a beautiful, beautiful snake. They're not aggressive. Like I said, they just wanna get away from us when we come across them. They will not chase you down. Cotton mouths do not chase people. If you happen to think one is chasing you or if it happens to come towards you, it's probably because you're in its path of wherever it's headed. But once again, very, very beautiful snake, very misunderstood snake. It is venomous. You don't want to take a, a bite from the snake, but it is a very non-aggressive snake. And that is your Texas water moccasin. Thanks for watching.